Hey, what's up? Seth Gardner. Today I wanted to talk about uh, movies, actually, because I realized I was talking about books a real lot, uh, for obvious reasons, since I'm like a well-known author, horror novelist and everything. Like, I write a lot of scary books. And so, like, a lot of my videos so far have been about um, literature. But I, I was thinking today, like, uh, what are some good movies? And, like, it, it just made me think how, like, so, for example... A lot of the time people will come up to me and they'll say, uh, like, yo, F. Gardner, did you see this whatever new movie? And a lot of the time, it's like a lot of my favorite movies are older stuff that I, like, grew up with, like, since I'm from the 90s and everything. So, like, a lot of the time, I'll still watch, in, like, a new movie every now and then or whatever. But it's like, a lot of the time, I'll, I'll, it's like someone says to me, if I ask, they ask me if I want to watch a new movie. And a lot of the time, my reaction is kind of like, hmm, I'd rather, I'd rather watch something that I already know is a classic. Let's rewatch uh, something that, like, came out in the 90s that I, I know is good for a fact and is good for sure. And because there's sometimes things you can pick up and, like, uh, little things, too. Like, uh, here, I have a couple movies here I wanted to mention to you guys. Yeah, like, not a lot of people know, like, <clears throat> so, like, there's a new, like, Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers movie coming out, and um, there's one from the 90s, and when I saw it as a kid, like, that blew my mind, and it still blows my mind. It's a great movie, and it wasn't until I was a lot older that I, I realized that, like, adults or, or like, whatever, like, uh, it, it, the general consensus was that, like, that's a bad movie, and it do, that didn't make any sense to me because everybody I knew when I was, the movie came out when I was a kid, all the other kids I knew back, then, like they, we all thought it was great. Yeah, we thought the, the movie was fucking rad. And not, and then it's like years go, went by, and then suddenly it's considered a bad movie, and that didn't make it. Still to this day, doesn't make sense to me. But I thought about it, and I, I, I kind of realized why it's that movie. It's like it had too many secrets in it that it was telling. And I'm, and what I mean by that is like, so you ever see like Eyes Wide Shut or um, movie, whatever movies that have like really like kind of esoteric, like hidden secrets like that about like what's really going on in the world. And the Super Mario Brothers movie from the 90s was like that. And most people, they don't realize that because they haven't seen it because they've convinced everybody that that's a bad movie like oh no, it's a bad movie don't see it but that's exactly why it's like it, the movie so the super marblers movie in the 90s it got review bombed by the illuminati or something they they realized like oh shit well, they're making they're putting what in the mario movie like it had too many uh red pills in it as they say so like here's a list just a brief list. I'm sure there's more because I rewatched that and I noticed new. Th I pick up on new things every time I've seen that. I must have seen that movie definitely hundreds of times by now. So first off, Reptilians. That's the most obvious one. Like the stuff like David Icke talks about. Uh, one, one of my books uh, is called Reptilian Odyssey. Uh, so it deals with the same sort of conspiracy, urban legend, whatever idea. Um, but it's, I don't even like saying conspiracies, really, because it's real. It's true. So, <clears throat> yeah, the reptilian stuff or lizard people, whatever you want to call it, that's in all, like, ancient religions and everything. It's in Buddhism. It's in the Bible. It's uh, all, all across uh, the board. It's in Abrahamic faiths. It's in, yeah, like I said, like uh, Buddhism, like uh, this idea of uh, these lizard-like, serpent-like creatures it's in everything and this uh, pri like primal fear we have to be afraid of uh snakes and like uh, legends of dragon dragons and stuff like that that's where it comes like it's it's based on this sort of thing these uh reptilians or whatever you want to call them they're real and well they're still real and uh, that's a very complex matter of how that that works but anyway um yeah so that's just one of the things i can make a whole video just about reptilians maybe i will for a later video but i want to focus on the points i'm making here about um the notes here i have about like the mara brothers movie and some other stuff like that 
So yeah, reptilians, <clears throat> it's the most obvious uh, thing it deals with for a hidden secret with uh, how they're shape-shifting. Like you have Dennis Hopper's character, King Koopa, like Bowser, like how his face can shape-shift and everything. He could turn, like by the end of the movie, like he looks more lizard-like. And there's a couple times in the movie where stuff like that happens. So yeah, the idea is that they're like these shape-shifting reptilians that are real and they're just hiding it a lot of the time. You can't, like you might even know, you probably even know some people that are actually reptilians or not even people. They're just uh, secret, secretly like uh, hiding what, who they really are. And uh, let's see, yeah, so yeah. Oh, in parallel dim dimensions, this is another uh, big one. Is uh, so you have Mario and Luigi, the Mario brothers, they go into this parallel dimension where dinosaurs are, are like, uh, they never stopped, they, they, they never went into extinction. It's just like this parallel world now, this parallel dimension. So that's definitely true. And, oh, that's that's another video that I could do uh, all, all about parallel dimensions, I guess. That's because there's so many different theories on like, how you can like, whatever, smoke, smoke DMT and then go to another dimension or are they, do they have technology that can warp uh, reality and everything to do that too? So yeah, that's another big one. And oh, 9-11, <coughs> the Twin Towers get destroyed. Like the top of the Twin Towers, the World Trade Center and um, the Super Mario Brothers movie. And this is, this came out of the 90s. Yeah, toward like, toward the end of it, there's a scene where like the dimensions are shifting and... The bad guy, King Koopa, like Bowser, his tower, it's the World Trade Center and like his dimension, but it's like partially destroyed and everybody looks over to the World Trade Center and all of a sudden it looks like that. So yeah, and, and I don't say that to make light of like 9-11 or anything. No, I I think that the people that made this movie, like this is, they, that this was, movie was like some type of prophecy or something. Like, it is the, the most esoteric movie ever made, like, I, I think. Like, it's up there, or at the very least, up there with, like, The Matrix and The Truman Show and Eyes Wide Shut. Like, it's on <clears throat> the Super Mario Brothers movie from the 90s is on that level. And, like, no one knows about about the stuff I'm talking about. It could, because, like, <clears throat> it got review bombed in the 90s and... Everyone they, they convinced everybody, oh, that's a bad movie, then I guess I guess I shouldn't see it. And the Illuminati, I'm sure they, they breathed a, a sigh of relief, thinking, oh, good, we, we tricked everybody into thinking that that was just a bad movie. And now they're not, they're not going to go see it. They're not going to find out um, that this was a, <clears throat> a prophecy about the world uh, or the future or whatever. Uh, so it's probably something like that. And, yeah, so, oh, yeah, and then... This one, I'm not quite sure what to make of this one, but, uh, yeah, so Dennis Hopper, the bad guy in it, uh, King Koopa, uh, Bowser, whatever, like, he's, he looks like Trump, and I'm not sure what to make of that, but that's weird, like, uh, was that just a prophecy predicting that, uh, him in the future, like, uh, it's bizarre, um, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what to make of that one way or the other, if that's... <clears throat> I don't know. There's so many that it's like one of those things you could think, oh, well, maybe that's a coincidence. But it's just there's so many weird things about this movie. It's so overwhelming that <clears throat> makes me think, no, this these aren't something's going. This is like some this movie is somehow a prophecy, like a real life prophecy that and it's like all these little things are coming true. And I mean, you could call that crazy if you want, but you probably never seen the Mario Brothers movie. Then go watch it. And then make up, make up your mind for yourself. Like, uh, how could it be that uh, this one movie has all these massive one in a million coincidences, like back to back to back? I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound possible to me unless it's some sort of legit, like, prophecy. And F. Gardner's going to tell you if something's legit or not. And yeah, this checks out. This this is legit as it gets. That movie, uh, it's, it's hard to totally explain it, but... Hands down, well, for, hands down, it's a great movie. It's a blast to watch, but it's, it's like, watching that movie, in a way, is like reading some sort of, like, holy scripture. 
like or like it's it's like all this is coming true now like everything you're watching about this uh yeah it's it's the most unique movie i could think of in that sense because like <clears throat> the stuff about the shining and eyes wide shut uh stanley kubrick type movies those those are like that too uh but for different reasons like yeah so like the shining that's like a that's like that's, that's like one of my favorite movies and um like that's about like the moon landing and then eyes wide shut it's about like the uh, secret societies and everything and <clears throat> stanley kubrick would do a lot of stuff like that in um his movies and there's all sorts of uh conspiracy theories about stanley kubrick and i think yeah so a lot of people think he did the moon landing i have a feeling he he did the moon landing like but they might have maybe they threatened him to do it or maybe it was like they offered him enough money and then but i think i think he might i think he was probably a good i don't think this actually i know this i I believe Stanley Kubrick was actually a good guy. It was just like he was pressured into doing that to fake the moon landing, like, because they didn't want people to know that outer space is fake and that the Earth is flat. <clears throat> so they're, they're, like, they're like, oh, Stanley Kubrick, you're such a great director. Can you can you direct the, this movie, uh, movie for us? And and probably threaten him if he wouldn't do it. And then all these years later, <coughs> well, for, first he made The Shining and then hinted that, like, oh, yeah, the moon watch this movie really closely and you'll be able to tell that uh, the moon landing was fake. And then, uh, so you try to drop little hints here and there, like about the secrets to the moon landing. And then Eyes Wide Shut, that was like his final movie. It was like he, I think he, maybe he's like, all right, I've held my tongue long enough about like the bigger, more massive secrets. So I think he made that movie and a lot of people think he was like assassinated because of like he went he he said too much and the powers that be the illuminati whatever they they got him um <clears throat> the real secret societies from like eyes wide shut and yeah uh, the more i look into it yeah, the more i think yeah it's i think i think stanley kubrick was a like the one of the greatest if not the greatest filmmaker ever made uh, excuse me ever born he made a lot of great movies and um his wide shot i think like it was his final message he's thinking okay I i'm gonna try to blow the lid on things or i'm just gonna make a really great movie about really deep secrets that a lot of people don't know about and he did it and maybe it did cost him his life maybe they got to him and that that's i don't know but I, if, if that's what happened that's it's kind of heroic it's like a redemption arc like he if you got like forced into doing the moon landing and then <clears throat> with uh, Eyes Wide Shut, it's like this is his redemption arc and where he already tried to like <clears throat> reveal some secrets of The Shining with the moon landing. And then he does Eyes Wide Shut <clears throat> and it's so many secrets that it just drives the Illuminati crazy. So I suspect that that was the case. And <clears throat> he kind of like redeemed himself and, and ended up being like a hero in the end because he like was really trying to blow the lid on things. And then, oh yeah, another movie. <laughs> it's kind of like what I'm talking about on um, sort of a similar situation in the Super Mario Brothers movie. There's so you guys know Vanilla Ice, right? Yeah, he was like really popular like when I was a kid in the nineties. And like yeah, he'd do like uh Ice Ice Baby and he did the the ninja rap from the Ninja Turtles. Those those are great. Those are like the, the Yeah, he he all the best rap music is uh by Vanilla Ice and oh the uh Okay, he didn't do the the poke rap, but that too from Pokemon. Uh, I like that. That's a classic. But uh, anyway, uh, Vanilla Ice, yeah, he he's great. His rap, he's like the best rapper ever. And he did uh, Cool as Ice, this movie in the '90s that got like review bombed for kind of similar reasons, similar but for different reasons, if that makes sense. So, Cool as Ice is a great movie. It's basically a documentary about how to be a Chad. It's awesome. And, but it's like, I don't know, they didn't want people to know that, like, to be this, this confident. They don't want people to be confident in, like, Vanilla Ice or F. Gardner. It's like, they don't want people to be like that. They, so it's like, they, I think they, like, review bombed that movie 
so that people wouldn't watch it. Like, Cool as Ice, yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's like a documentary about how to be a Chad. Like, it, and it's, it's true. And let's see. Oh, yeah, the next movie I have here, Rocky V. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, I think that's like the only Rocky movie that came out in the 90s. And I already liked all the Rocky movies as a kid when I was, a, yeah, and a kid in the 90s. And, like, I saw the others, like, first. I saw them in an order. And then when I got to Rocky V, I remember hearing everybody saying, like, oh, Rocky V sucks. This is the bad one. And uh, it's uh, the people are saying, oh, it's the worst movie ever. And then I saw Rocky V, and I'm like, what the fuck? This is supposed to be the bad one? That was fucking awesome. So I don't, I don't know. I don't, I've never understood why people hated Rocky V. It's, it's great. Um, yeah, I kind of want to rewatch all these movies right now just talking about them. Yeah, it just makes me realize I, how much, remember how much I like those old Rocky movies. Or all, all the Rocky movies. Um, yeah, I think they're all great. And then, um, oh, next movie on, on the list here. Uh, Dunstan Checks In. Yeah, like, that's, it. so that's like, it's, uh, that's another movie from the 90s I saw as a kid, and yeah, it's, um, it stars, so George Costanza and his son, they're at, uh, they're living in a hotel, or his, his dad, like, runs a hotel or, or something like that, and there's, a uh, a monkey that's, like, me messing things up, it's, like, running all over the hotel and, like, like whatever making a mess throwing a shit at people and bananas everywhere there's, there's something like that from what it's been a while since i've seen it but there's something like that and the kid is trying to save the monkey and then pb herman comes in for some reason and it tries to kill the monkey he tries to shoot him and uh i forget how it ends it's been a long time since i've seen that but anyway yeah it's a great movie and um uh, oh wait i guess that doesn't really have any I guess Dunstan Checks in doesn't really have anything to do with conspiracies. But neither, neither does Rocky V, I guess. But anyway, uh, those are good movies, though. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, check those out. Uh, yeah, and like, a, a, I guess we got a little bit off topic. But the Rock, the uh, original Mario Brothers movie, hopefully the new one's good. I don't know how it could be as good as the, the old one unless they, they get the old director uh, back back to do that. Um, maybe that's what they're doing. I don't, I don't know. But, um, unless he got assassinated like Stanley Kubrick or whatever, like, uh, for, for revealing too much, I have no idea. Maybe he's, I hope he's still okay. And they didn't get to him for revealing too much about reptilians and parallel dimensions and everything, whoever directed the old Mario movie. Uh, but yeah, check that out if you haven't seen that. Uh, I'm sorry if this seems like an out of nowhere video, but I was thinking like I did so many, I've done what number of videos now, 11? And well, most of them are about books. So I wanted to do something a little bit different about movies. And I already talked about uh, conspiracies that I, that I believe in uh, in some of them. So I thought, what are, some, yeah, what are some movies that are both good that are also like documentaries about real life? So yeah, uh, go watch, yeah. If you want to watch nothing but good movies, stick to movies that came out in the 90s. That I, movies that I, because that's what I grew up with. So yeah, like, okay, yeah. The Super Mario Brothers movie from the 90s. Cool as Ice, starring Vanilla Ice from the 90s. Rocky V, starring Rocky Balboa from the 90s. Dunstan checks in with George Costanza. Or, um, yeah, or whatever his character's name is in that. And uh, yeah, of course... And then The Shining, and the, the, that came out before the 90s, but yeah, if you've never, saw, if you've somehow never seen The Shining, like, uh, watch that immediately. Yeah, that and, and Wise, uh, Eyes Wide Shut, too. Yeah, those are both, everything by yeah, Stanley Kubrick are masterpieces. Yeah, so there you go. Some movie recommendations from F. Gardner. Take care. Bye.